Now in this tutorial we're going to look at adding and creating an extra figure. So we've got standard pivot animator loaded here and we'll just drag this figure off to the side. If we click on this button it will edit the figure type. I don't want to edit the man, I want to go file new. Gives me this. I'm going to draw a dog. So the first thing we do is we're going to decide where we're going to draw the dog around and my intention is to use the static point here, the move point, as the back of the dog. So I'm going to put the dog's legs coming from here. Dog's legs would all be the same size, so I'm just going to duplicate it, put it in position and separate them. Duplicate it, put it in position, duplicate it, put it in position. I'm just doing that now. It's going to be a very simple dog animation we're going to use. So next I want to put in the dog's tail. And then we want to put in the neck. Finally, the dog's head. The advantage of putting the static, the movement point at the back here, is we can then make the dog sit up. It's also easy to wag the dog's tail and to move the dog's legs as well as its head. If you put that point elsewhere in the dog, you'll find that, for example, it's easier to do handstands. Or you might find, uh, for example, if you put it here in the head, you can actually pivot the entire dog around the head, which is handy at times, but maybe not what we're after for today. Okay, so that's it. Once we put it in place, we're going to file, and we're going to save it. We need to give it a name. It's going inside this default stick figures folder here. So at this point, it's probably better if you save it across in your own documents. Oh, I don't see documents. Where is it? Libraries. Documents. Create a new folder called Animations. Okay. And if you open up your animations, once you've added in your animations... We can then simply call it dog. We've got it saved now, and now all we have to do is add it to the animation, and there's the dog.